Now that you've done and posted your interview on Parkbench, let's talk about how to promote it. How you can promote it and also what Parkbench does to get your interviews more exposure. All right, so here's an example of the neighborhood website in Liberty Village in Toronto. And we're in the blog section, we're in the interview section, and I'm going to show you if this was my interview, what I would do to promote the interview. Okay, so let's click on one of these interviews. Here's this Barcelona Tavern. Okay, I'm going to click on it, go to the blog page. Okay, so there's a couple things that we can do on this page right here. So first, on the side of the page, you're going to see those sharing buttons, the Facebook button, the Twitter button. Then if you click on that plus sign, you can see a bunch of different channels that you can click and promote the interview on. Facebook, Twitter, Google+, LinkedIn, and then you can load more. Okay? Or another approach that you can do is you can go to the, your URL bar. So I'm in Chrome right now, so I can click on this, and you can see the URL, parkmanage.com slash blog slash Barcelona Tavern Food Drink Katrinaville Toronto Seamus Smith. All right? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this URL or I'm going to share it on the social channels through those buttons. But if I'm going to use that URL, I'm then going to go to first my social media pages. So you, first and foremost, should share your interviews on your social media pages. And as many of them as possible. Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, Snapchat, uh, YouTube, whatever it is that you're on that you use share it on there. Pinterest even, you can share it on there, okay? Definitely the main ones, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. If it's a video, it's gotta be on, you, gotta be on YouTube. Uh, and then if you know how to post a photo and a little blurb on Instagram and then put the link to that article in your bio, that's how people can actually see your post. And then in the, in the caption of Instagram, you can say, hey, check out the interview. The link is in my bio. Okay, um, but the main three, Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. So here's my Facebook page. So very simply, I'm gonna go on my Facebook page and say, hey, you know, friends, check out this amazing interview I did about blah, 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 blah. Write a personalized mes message and think about, okay, so I have friends, I have followers on my personal Facebook. What would I write that would make them want to click on this interview. So I'm going to copy and paste the URL from this interview and look, Facebook pulls up the image, pulls up the headline, and so you know that this is going to show up in the post on people's Facebook news feeds. So what can I write that's going to make people want to click and check it out? Maybe there was something really interesting about that person I interviewed that I can almost tease people with and tell them to click and read more. Maybe I can ask a question or um, say, hey, if you have this need, if you have this goal, if you like these products and services, check this local business out. So you're not going to get everyone to click on this article. Only a certain percentage of all your fans and followers can even see it. So really think, like, what's the target market for who would be likely to read this interview and just write a post that focuses on them. Capture the low-hanging fruit when you post this interview on your social media, okay? So I write a blog, maybe I put some feelings, some activities, and then I just click post, and I just do this on my Facebook. Now, some people talk about like, when should I post this? And if you're really structured, if you're really uh, regimented and organized, you can look at your Facebook page, look at the data about when people are on it, your audience, like when are they on Facebook, and post at that time. So if you look at the data and you can schedule stuff in and you know you can be by your computer to go do this, or maybe you have a social media scheduling software like Hootsuite or Buffer, you can schedule the post out to go out at the optimal level, all right, the optimal time. Now, if you're like me, okay, I just want to get this thing done. I want to get it out. I want to get it done. So it's better that I just post it when I'm free, when I'm able, when I'm by a computer and this is what I'm doing for the day and I'm not going to worry so much about it being an optimal time. I'm just going to be like, I did the post, I posted on Parkbench, here's my link, I'm going to share it right now and just get it out of sight, out of mind. People will see it and then I'm just going to move on with other stuff I got to do that day. Okay? And I'm going to post it on my personal Facebook. 
I'm going to post it on my business Facebook. So both places, post it on both places. You got different fans and friends and followers on both those channels. So post it on your business page. Maybe write something different because maybe you know that the fans and the followers of your business page are different than your friends on your personal page. And so you might write out a different post for it, but post on your business page, go to your LinkedIn. Here's my LinkedIn. And again, maybe my post on Facebook where it's more about friends and connection is I'm going to talk about the person I'm interviewing. Where on LinkedIn it's about business. So maybe I'm going to say, hey, if you, you know, want a job, this place is hiring, read this interview and get to know this business. Or, hey, if you want to um, get this product or get this service, check out this business owner that I interviewed. They're really great at blank, th this. So on LinkedIn, the post you're going to write is going to be different than Facebook. And then Twitter, of course, the post you're going to write is going to be a whole lot different because you only have 140 characters. So what you might need to do, okay, with Twitter is create a shortened URL for the, the blog. And then right before that, put in your tweet. You know, sweet interview about this business. Check it out. Here's the link. Um, if you like this product, check out this interview about this business that offers it. Here's the link. Something super short and concise and maybe put a couple hashtags in there. Now in all three situations, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Facebook, okay, tag the business owner. All right, tag people, tag um, profiles so that they know that you did this. So if I know that I'm, that I'm going to write a post on Facebook about you know, hey friends, check out at Barcelona and I'm going to wait to see if I can find the business. There it is, Barcelona Tavern Toronto. I'm just going to click on that and they're now going to get tagged and they're going to get notified that I made this post. So whenever you're posting on Facebook, LinkedIn or Twitter, the rules are the same, at, use the at symbol you can see on my screen right here, at, start typing in their name, because maybe I don't want to just tag the business profile page that I interviewed, maybe I want to tag the person that I, that I interviewed, because they got a, their own personal page. So I'm going to make two tags in that post, all right? So use tags on Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter. It's going to help you get more engagement, more shares, more likes. Um, and the person that you interview is going to be really happy about it, which makes them more likely to use you and refer you. So do it. All right. Next, on top of your personal social media pages, if you want to go that extra mile and get more views and get more brand exposure for you, but also for the person you interviewed, which makes them happier and more likely to use you and refer you. And if you want to get more traffic to your local park bench website, then spend the extra 15 to 20 minutes to promote that interview on more places. So I just opened up a checklist of websites and social media pages, Facebook pages, Facebook groups, LinkedIn pages, LinkedIn groups, Reddit pages. You know, if you're you know, in the America, you got Nextdoor as a local website that you can post content on that our clients are getting lots of, you know, subsequent referral traffic from. You know, there's, there's lots of local places online that you could potentially post your interview on. So what I recommend you do is once, and, and if you're, you know, talking to one of our account managers, work with them. We've got this template that you can use. Just ask us for it. And I think in this course, you'll actually see that it's, you know, on, this, on the page somewhere for you to download and use and take half an hour one time to research a bunch of different local Facebook pages and Facebook groups and LinkedIn pages and whatnot that you could potentially post on. So if this is one I did for a client, you know, there's going to be a bunch of pages that are health related. So if I interviewed someone that's in the health and wellness and fitness nutrition space, I'm going to share it on those pages because that relates to the audience of the people who are, you know, fans and friends of this page then some of them are just straight up local pages that everything that I do, all my interviews that this client does could be posted on this page right here. 
Some things are food related, some are government and city related, some are professionals related. So maybe I'm not going to post about the local businesses or the schools on this page, but there, this page is all about connecting the local professionals in the area. So if I interview a mortgage broker or a dog walker or a personal trainer, they're a local professional, you know, I'm going to post that interview on this uh, Facebook page. Okay, so do the research, take half an hour, create a massive list of places that you can promote, and then depending on what you in, who you just interviewed and what the blog is about, you can just scan your list, look at the pages and go, oh, uh, this is a, a page I can post everything on. I'm just gonna go to this page, I'm gonna like it, I'm gonna write a post on it, and then I'm gonna press submit. And I'm just gonna spend an extra 15 to 30 minutes sharing the interview on more pages. Yes, it's extra work. Yes, it takes more time out of your day, but the results will be worth it. More exposure to you, more exposure to the person you interviewed, more results then to you and to the person you interviewed, which makes your website flourish and it makes the person you interviewed more likely to use you and refer you because you added more value to them. And all the more reason why we tell people when you take that photo for the interview, Take it with the person you interviewed because that means on all these different places that you're sharing the interview on, you're now going to show up. So whether people click on the interview or not to go to your website to read it, they're going to see your face and they're going to keep wondering like who you are because you seem to be an influencer in the area. Okay? So make one of these checklists and use it to share in more places efficiently and effectively. Now, Park Bench. Here's what we do to help you get more exposure to the interviews. First and foremost, if you go to parkbench.com where we get hundreds of thousands of page views to there a month, if you scroll down, we feature the most recent interviews that have been posted. So as soon as you post stuff, you're going to see your interview on the homepage. And people now click these interviews from the homepage. Next. Okay, if you go to your website, if you go to your neighborhood website, so here's a realtor that just posted an interview. All your interviews are showcased, you know, in one place on the interviews tab, on the blogs tab, and on the homepage, the most recent interviews are showcased right at the top. This is the main thing that we want to promote to people in the community. So get good photos. Post lots of interviews because you're going to get tons of exposure on the neighborhood website. Next, what I'm showing you right here is the email newsletter. So every single week, all the interviews that you posted in the last seven days are going to get showcased right at the top of the neighborhood newsletter that goes out to all the subscribers every single week. All right, so here's another way to get more exposure to what you've done um, and get more people to come back to the website and see what you're doing. And then finally, okay, I'm going to click on this, this blog, this interview that was done where this realtor interviewed the mayor. What a cool idea, interview the mayor. All right, so if you can do that in your area, go for it. Like what an influencer to be friends with, to give value to, okay? And, and we, all, we all know that sometimes we want to show on our Facebook page, our Instagram page that makes us, elevates our reputation, elevates our brand. Like look at all these influencers that I'm friends with, the mayor, okay, huge. So this realtor interviewed the mayor and, and one of the great things, like I actually would have changed the title of uh, this blog to further optimize it for the search engines, um, but look what happened, okay? So if you go to google.com, okay, and you be look at, okay, Google Candy Perez Mayor Winstead, right? That would be what people, that's her name, Candy Perez, she's the mayor of Winstead. And number on the first page is the blog, okay, about from Park Bench that the realtor did. So what you'll find is if you go on Google and research the name of the person and what they do and their position or their business name and the category in the area, that interview is likely to show up in the search engines. So we make a lot of effort to make sure our site is optimized for Google and Bing and Yahoo, so that when people are searching for the people and the businesses and, and the, the types of businesses that you interviewed, 
you're gonna have a very good chance of showing up on the first page. And we've seen people rank number one, like ranked even higher than that business's own website. You know, we've been ranked higher than Facebook and Yelp and all these major websites because when you create an interview that's got photos and video and text and the headline mentions all the different keywords about what you just interviewed, we are a major site now in the world, so like it ranks really well. And imagine like you're helping people rank in the search engines on the first page, and you're making a positive interview about them that makes them look good. So you can walk in the neighborhood and say, listen, I want to interview you, feature the website, and there's like a 75% chance, probably maybe even more, that this is gonna rank in the first page whenever people search your name in the future, and I'm gonna do my best to just make you look amazing. And, and, and that is the value that I can give you from this interview. That you're gonna have an, an online presence that's gonna make you look good forever. All right, this is such an advantage that you can now bring to the marketplace, which gets people more excited about what you can do for them, gets you more exposure, gets them more exposure. And so, all this together, you promoting this in your social channels, you promoting this on other social channels and other local websites, and what Parkbench does is to promote it on the home page, promote it on the neighborhood home page, put it on the email newsletter, and make it rank well in the search engines. All together, it's gonna to help you drive traffic to the website, it's gonna give value to you, it's gonna give value to the person you interviewed, and that's gonna grow your brand and grow your business and help you get more people to see what you're doing for the community. So don't sh cut corners, promote your interviews well, take all these steps and you're gonna love the results. It is some extra work, but you will love the results. So if you haven't done this yet for even the interviews you've done in the past, go do it now. Don't delay, just do it now. It's better late than never. And in the future, when you're publishing your interviews, just right away, just get it done, promote it in all these different places, and you're gonna grow your brand, you're gonna grow your business, and you're gonna grow your local Park Bench website. So go do it and have some fun.